So if you see the tally uh, data now, it's a blank database. You can see the data of last entry has no watches entered. The first thing what we have to do is we'll have to press F11 and there is a configuration screen called Amazon configuration. Once you come up that this configuration, the credentials has to be taken from the MWS Amazon sign up page where you will see all the details like seller ID, scratch key and the access key ID. Once you key in all these details, you will have to specify whether you are on FBI platform or the silver platform and you will have to configure the uh, OCHA type transactions to which OCHA type it has to get imported. So for example, you know, you can create an OCHA type in tally called Amazon sales as well as you know, you can also mention whether the OCHA number should be order number or tax invoice number, however it may, the case may be. Likewise, you know, the credit OCHA type can be Amazon credit note. Likewise, all the receipts which is received from the Amazon can be created as a separate OCHA type called Amazon receipts or you can also import it to the receipt account. And you can specify to which ledger account the data has to be pushed in tally. Generally, it will be a control account called Amazon Central Customers or uh, Amazon Datas or Amazon Control Account and things like that. And the tax can, type can be either exclusive or inclusive. And you can also configure the sales and the uh, other ledger accounts which is related to sales at this particular screen like uh, CST 14.5%, sales 14.5% and you know 5.5% sales and the shipping details, gift wrap up, shipping discounts, any other things. So you can have as many ledger accounts as you want. You can also specify the bank account to which account the amount has to get credited. The Amazon withhold account if you are operating multiple godowns, you can also specify with which godown it has to get, uh, stocks has to get uh, list. And the commission accounts, as you know, there are various commission accounts which uh, Amazon operates. Each and every ledger accounts can be configured as per your chart of accounts. And the stock item also be configured in tally. Any stock item which is not created in tally will be imported automatically at the time of updating the sales invoices to an unallocated group called Amazon Unallocated. Later on, there, those stock items can be moved to the respective stock groups in tally. So this is the basic configuration which has to be done before we upload the sales data. Now let us see how to import the sales data. Under the display menu, we have an account called uh, the menu called Amazon import. Once you go to the Amazon import, there are various configurations. Like you have a sales upload, settlement upload, credit note upload. And there is also another thing called uncertain transactions. If in case some data is not imported tally at the time of upload, you can verify those transactions and update it at a later stage. First, let us see how the sales transaction gets uploaded. I go to the sales menu. I give the data as 1st March. 2017 to 31st March 2017. Earlier, as I said, as I told you know, there is no transaction in this particular data, and I upload it freshly. So now, if you see the tally is trying to read the data from the Amazon Central place from your account and trying to upload the data. Tally is still importing the data for the month of March and you can see on the left hand side the date keep getting incremental and you also get the status update on the calculator pane. So the whole uh, process has taken about uh, uh, 40 to 60 seconds for uploading the data. And when you go to the transactions, you can see the transactions on the Amazon sales coming in. So you can see about 81 transaction has got uploaded. 
and with the voucher number, date, and uh, the customer number name as Amazon Central Customers. And if you go inside the transaction, you will see the stock item name, the quantity rates, output VAT amount, all those details. So these are both the sales transactions. Now let us see how to upload the receipt transactions. As a sample, what I will do is upload the receipt transaction for a particular uh, period. Say for example, uh, 1st March 2017 to 5th March 2017 and accept it. Again, if you see it, Ali is trying to get the data from the Amazon central place. It's uploading the data. Now it has got completed. Now let us go to the statistics and see what is the transaction which has got imported. So there are about two transactions if you see in the Amazon receipts on the left hand side. I drill down to the March month and see the details. So I go to the second transactions and if you can see here the amount has got imported and there are a lot of transactions. The reference number is getting knocked off. I go to the first transactions. You see the amounts. To see all the details, I open in the display mode and you can see the amount it has got credited to the Amazon central account. The various sets of accounts like commission, commission tax, delivery service tax, FBA delivery charges and whatever they are in the delivery, the settlement account. So all those things which you are doing it manually or you know using a sp Excel spreadsheet to reconcile those things will get automatically uploaded to you on a click of a button. So this is a uh, demo video which explains you in brief how to upload the data transactions in Tally from the Amazon central website. So if you would like to buy this